Hey everyone, before we get started with this video, I just really quickly want to say and apologize for my voice. I was sick over the past week or two, and it's still a little bit in there. My voice is a little more nasally, but I'm doing better. Anyways, on with the video. Today, I want to be covering on how to transfer images from the Canon SX740HS to either your phone or a tablet. This works for iPhone, Android, and it basically makes transferring images so much easier from this thing. This is why, one of the reasons why I absolutely love this camera. Now the process is gonna be exactly the same whether you're doing this on a phone or a tablet. I'm gonna be doing it on a tablet because it's just easier. It's a bigger screen for you to see. So we'll just move this to the side and we'll get started with this on a tablet. The process is otherwise identical though. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the app store of your device. So this could be the Google Play Store, it could be the Apple App Store, and you're gonna download the Canon Camera Connect app. The links are gonna be down in the description if you wanna download this app, which you're gonna to have to if you wanna transfer these images. So um, links down below, or you could just search it yourself whatever is easiest. And then once it's downloaded and installed onto your device, you can click open. You're gonna have this license agreement, which you're gonna have to accept. You're gonna have to scroll all the way down and press agree. There's gonna be notifications. You can allow or don't allow. In this case, I would allow the notifications because they don't really send any kind of annoying stuff. Now here's the usage information where they're gonna co collect information of your device. You can agree or not agree to this. I'm going to click don't agree. Either way, you still have full usability of this app. Now it goes into portrait mode like this. They have some quick start guides here. You can either swipe all the way through or you can click skip here at the top. Press let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to have to register the camera. What we're going to do is we're going to tap here at the very top corner. Um, and you have to find your camera from this list, or you can search the model name. Now, judging based on the fact that you clicked on this video, you might have the Canon SX740HS. So what you can do is just type SX740, and it should, should already pop up. What we're gonna do is we are going to click on Wi-Fi down here. Now it asks for location information. You're gonna have to press next and allow. So we're gonna do that here and then check the little box that says camera is now ready to connect. And now we're gonna go over to the camera. Turn on the camera. We are going to press the little wireless button that we have down here. So we'll click that. And it's asking to register a nickname to identify the camera. So what we're gonna do is just type in whatever nickname we want here. We'll just go with SX740 and press the menu to confirm. And now we will just press OK and move on to the next screen. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press connect to smartphone over here. If you're using a tablet, it still says connect to smartphone. So we'll click that and we'll press register a device for connection. Here, if you don't have the app installed already, you can display a little QR code that will help you download it. We don't really have to do that though because we already have that downloaded. Now it says to connect the device to this network using these settings. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go onto the settings of our device that we're using. This is where it's gonna differ a little bit with Android and Apple, but it's basically the same process. So in, in this case, we'll just go down here and tap the settings icon. We'll go to Wi-Fi and we will connect to this network here, which is, we'll take a look here. And here's the nickname that we gave our device. So we gave the nickname SX740. So we'll tap that. It'll probably say something like underscore Canon or something like that in it. So um, if you don't remember what nickname you set, anything that says Canon most likely is gonna be your camera. Uh, we'll go into password and type in this password, which we see down here. Now you'll have a little message saying that internet isn't available on this connection. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say always connect anyways. Okay, so now once you're connected to the network, you're going to go back here and you'll see that it even says that you're connected to the network and it has even automatically detected that the camera is trying to connect to it. So we're going to tap on the camera here and you'll see that on the camera, it's now asking to connect to the smartphone. 
will press OK. Connection established, and we can see that here too. We'll press OK. And there we go. Now we're connected to the camera. So what we can do is we can press on import images. And here you will see all the pictures which are on the SD card of the camera. So we'll tap on the ones that we want to transfer over. This is not just pictures, but video as well. So if you want to transfer all of them over, what you can do is press the little select button here and tap all of the dates and it will select all of them. Or what we can do is just select a few individual photos which we want to transfer over. So I'll select this one. Actually, let's go with that one. And I'll go with this one. So now that we've selected the ones that we want to transfer over, we are going to just go here and tap import at the bottom. Now for this, generally what it does is it reduces the size of the images in order to make the transfer process faster. But if I were you, I would not do this. I would uncheck that so that it saves the full quality of the image. And then check the little box that says use these settings from now on. You want to transfer the full quality, otherwise you're basically paying for nothing. And then uh, here it says delete location information. I, I, I wouldn't delete that, I would keep it. You could change these settings as you wish, but I recommend you use these settings which I'm showing here for the best quality of your images. Now I'll press OK. And you'll see that it's starting to copy the images and you'll have a little preview of the image here on the screen. So now we see that the images have already been copied over. We can press Open Images app. And we will see that we have the pictures here on the tablet straight from the camera. Nice. So there we go. That's how you transfer images and video from a camera like this. This is the Canon SXM40. Okay, so I know that was a little bit complicated, a bit of a process in order to get these two connected, but now it's gonna be much easier to connect in the future. Let's turn off the camera and close the app and let's start from scratch. Now that everything is set up, we're gonna open up the app we'll see that we already have a preview of the camera up here. We'll turn the camera on. We'll tap the little Wi-Fi button here. We see that it has the list of our device already here ready for us. So we'll click the OK button. The Wi-Fi network is listed here, all the information, but we're not gonna have to retype any password. We'll just go into the settings of the device. we see that it's connected already to the camera. But if you're not connected, you'll have to tap it from the list here. We'll go back to the app. Now we can see here opening the app, it has already detected it automatically and it has connected. And we can click on import images. This may take a second. Sometimes it doesn't connect right away. Give it like 10 seconds, it should pop up. If it doesn't, try closing the app and opening it again. It might be a little tiny bit glitched, but it's usually pretty easy. It's pretty quick. Now we see here that we have all the images again and we can tap something else to import. So we'll go here, we like this one. We can click import, takes a second. And then boom, it's imported. We can do open camera app and we see here it's imported. So there we go, that's pretty much it. It's very simple to transfer the images from here and now there's some other tools too um, available within this app which you may find interesting. So I'll just cover those really quick here, but if this is all you wanted to see, you can end watching here. But you should stick around. There's some cool stuff that you might not even know your camera does. So here, this is remote shooting. So if you go back to this menu section here, you can press shoot. Just press OK. Make sure that the camera is not on any kind of surface where it can fall over because what it's going to do is it's going to open the lens. There we go. And now you're, you have full control over your camera through your device. So here we can switch between photo or video mode. We'll stay in photo mode. If you're in manual, you have options to control the shutter speed here, the aperture here, and the ISO here. And you can even control things like the zoom, 
it may be a little tiny bit laggy, but it gets the job done. We'll zoom back out. You can control the flash, but one thing with the Canon SXM40HS is you have to pop the flash up manually. Yeah, it's really cool. I find these remote connection things incredibly useful, especially when recording videos like this. Right now, I don't have the camera remotely connected, but most cases when I shoot my YouTube videos on a tripod, I have my phone here just in my pocket or something like that that has the live view of essentially what I'm recording and then I could just take a glance at it, adjust settings if I need, adjust the exposure, that kind of stuff, all remotely without having to go up, change it, sit back down, that kind of thing. So it's super nice, especially to have in more of a budget point and shoot camera like this. But the most useful thing is importing the images wirelessly. I absolutely love that. In one of my previous videos, I went on a camping trip and I took a Canon DSLR, which had wireless control. And because I was camping, because I didn't have my laptop with me, an SD card reader, all these complicated things, it was so nice and easy to just be able to send the pictures wirelessly to my device. It was effortless, it was easy. So glad that this camera has it. It's one of the best features that came out in recent years. So there we go, that's how you use it. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I or someone else who knows the answer will try our best to help you. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, please do consider subscribing and see you around.